Yes. So let's talk about the leg press. So the yep. leg press is an exercise where you're strapped into a machine, yep. your back and your hips are supported in the machine. Yes. And then your legs are driving the machine and there's a plate. Yes. All right? Yes. Um, now what's wrong with that exercise, Matty? Well, I, I, I know what's I know it's wrong with it. <laughs> That looks, that, that, potentially there's a lot of things wrong with it. Um, well, let's, let's, okay, well let, let's first talk about what exercise is good for. Uh, building muscle. Building muscle, all right. Okay, okay. It, it is great for that. And, yep. and most machine exercises are great for that because yep. they isolate areas and that's what you want to do when you build muscle. When you want to, when you want to become a bodybuilder. Yeah, so you want to increase the size of the, the muscle, muscle which okay. doesn't necessarily, necessarily translate to moving better. Yeah, and I know, you know, like if you were to put a bodybuilder on a bike, what sort of result would you get? A bodybuilder on a bike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Not a great one. Not a great one. Now, you know, they're not going to be... Right. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so, um, so that's a good thing about leg press. So, what's yeah. the bad thing about the leg press? Look, if it comes to sports conditioning, yeah. um, it's a and specifically cycling, yeah. it's a bilateral movement, which means both both legs are moving up and down at the same time. Yeah. Now, I haven't seen too many bikes that do that. No. Okay. No. It's usually a cyclical pattern. So, you, one, one leg. One, to the to other another. So you'll yep. see a lot of lunge patterns with our yep. exercises. Um, you'll also see if we're doing a squat pattern, we might have a split stance or an asymmetrical stance yep. um, to load the legs differently, differently and then we'll yeah. switch it over. Yep. Um, so we have a greater transfer in that sense um, to what happens with the hips and the legs and the core yeah. on the bike. The other thing with the leg press is because you are in a supine position, like a faced up position yep. or even an upright position, um, it puts the hips in a totally different relationship to the core. Yep. Yep. They sit now you know, underneath and behind the core, yeah. not behind and on top. So yeah. you know, it's, it's a totally different position. The muscles are loaded differently. The forces on the bike yeah. come from up yep. you know, as a pedal pu pushes up um, and then your legs drive them down, whereas it's the opposite way around on a leg press. Yeah, Chris. And that's quite important around that all that proprio proprioception. Session. Yep. Yep. Yeah, and we'll talk a little bit about that actually in the product itself, how sure. important that is. Yeah. Um, you know, whether it's a face down or a face up exercise, yeah. on the way neurologically you fire up yes. your neurological system and yeah. how you relate to yourself in space and time.